If you're ready to pack your bags and move to the Big Island, well, you're probably already sold on living in Hawaii. But believe it or not, there are some things that you actually might not like about living on an island. Well, keep watching because today I'm going to fill you in on the pros and cons of living on the Big Island. Pro number one is the ideal year-round weather. The climate on the Big Island is truly unique and ideal for most people. Because Hawaii is located near the equator, it has a tropical climate with average temperatures that range from the mid 70s to the mid 80s, making it perfect for outdoor activities year round. The unique thing about Hawaii is even though there's high humidity, we have wonderful trade winds that provide cooling tropical breezes and make it much more comfortable to live in. Additionally, the island's unique topography and varied elevation means that it has a variety of microclimates, which means you can find different types of weather depending on where you are on the island. If you love the rain and lush tropical rainforests, Hilo or the Hamakua Coast might be just your place. If you want sun, sun, and more sun, then the Kohala Coast or Kailua Kona might be ideal for you. Or if you want a little cooler days and nights where you can get cozy up to the fireplace, then living at a higher elevation like Waimea might be the perfect spot. Overall, the Big Island has some of the most ideal weather in the world, making it an ideal place to live for those who love warm, sunny days and comfortable nights all year round. Con number one, humidity and mold. While warm weather year round may be ideal for most people, the downside of a tropical climate is the humidity that may not be ideal for everyone. Even though our trade winds help to keep us more comfortable, there are times when the weather patterns change and our favored trade winds disappear for a few days, especially in the summer, creating some hot and muggy days. This usually doesn't last too long, but when it does, it can be pretty uncomfortable Given that this is only temporary, most of us would rather turn up the air conditioning for a few days to add a little comfort. The price you pay for paradise, right? Now the downside of an overall humid environment is that it can cause mold growth in and around your home. This is much more prevalent in areas where the rainfall is much higher, but if you are sensitive to mold, you do need to know that anywhere on the island you can be affected. Now, I've lived in Kona, Hilo, and Waimea and have found mold on things in my closet and on my furniture in all of those areas, but I will say it was a lot more in Hilo than in Kona. Now, don't be discouraged because there are ways to mitigate the effects of humidity and mold. It's important to keep living and working spaces well ventilated and dry to prevent mold growth. Things like heated rods for your closet can really help. Air conditioning will certainly help, especially if there's been a period of a lot of rain. Now, the best way, though, is to use a whole house dehumidifier or a portable one. I personally am sensitive to mold, and once I installed a dehumidifier in my home, it was a game changer. Pro number two, outdoor recreation in nature. People love the Big Island for so many reasons, but the outdoor recreation and natural beauty are definitely at the top of the list. The island has an abundance of natural wonders, including active volcanoes, tropical waterfalls, and pristine white beaches. So with so much to explore, there's no shortage of activities to enjoy. Hiking is especially popular on the island with a variety of trails to suit all levels of experience. You can spend your days snorkeling, surfing, or just simply relaxing on the beach. The ocean is, of course, the highlight for most, and if you love swimming year-round without a wetsuit, like I do, I don't know where you can find a better backyard pool anywhere else in the U.S. than this. For nature lovers, there are plenty of opportunities to see unique wildlife, such as tropical fish, sea turtles, dolphins, manta rays, and whales. With so much to see and do, it's easy to see why the Big Island is such a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts. Whether you're a thrill seeker or a nature lover, you're sure to find something that you'll love on the Big Island. While living in Hawaii can be a dream come true for so many, one of the biggest challenges is the high cost of living. 
this is by far the highest price you'll pay for living in paradise. This is due in part to the fact that many goods need to be imported, which drives the prices up. If you're planning on living in Hawaii, you'll want to make sure you have a steady income or a great job lined up in advance. You'll pay much, much more for everything. Walk into the grocery store and the price of food is shocking. Gas is much more expensive, as is dining out. And did you know Hawaii has the highest average monthly utility costs in the nation? Additionally, the island's heavy reliance on the tourism industry means that wages can be relatively low, making it much more difficult to make ends meet. Housing and rent is also more expensive compared to many areas on the mainland, especially in the popular tourist areas such as Kona or the resort areas of the Kohala coast. However, on a positive note, there's Costco in Kona for almost everything that you could need, including gas. So you can save a lot if you have a membership. Also, adding a solar and a photovoltaic system to your home will cut your utility bills down to next to nothing. And because there's really only one season in Hawaii, you can get by with a very limited wardrobe of shorts, t-shirts, and some inexpensive slippers from Long's. The beauty of island life is that it can become very simplified, which is why so many people love living here. Pro number three, most affordable of all the islands to buy a property on. Once you've accepted the high price of paradise, the big island is actually the most affordable island to purchase a single family home compared to the other islands such as Oahu, Maui, and Kauai. The median sales price of a home on the big island for January this year is 520,000 compared to Kauai at just over 800,000 with Oahu and Maui being the most expensive at 970,000 on Oahu and over 1.1 million on Maui. You'll find the most affordable homes in the Puna and Kau districts on the south and east part of the island. Median home prices are in the 300,000 range Hilo, Hamakua, and South Kona are mid-range with median sales prices in the 500 to 700,000 range. And West Hawaii being the most expensive from North Kona to South and North Kohala, where the median home sales price is close to 900,000 and up. Because the Big Island is so big, there's less density compared to the other islands and the value you get on the Big Island far outweighs what you can get on the other islands. This home on the Kohala coast with these amazing panoramic ocean views would cost probably three times the amount on the other islands and offers much more land and privacy for the price. The high humidity and tropical environment of island life brings some not so welcome bugs and critters. The third drawback of living on the big island is the presence of bugs and other pests. Due to the island's tropical climate and lush vegetation, there are a lot of insects, including mosquitoes, cockroaches, centipedes, and ants. While this can be a problem for many people, it's important to keep in mind that with proper precautions and maintenance, you really can minimize the impact of these pests. Simple things such as sealing up your home, keeping bushes trimmed back away from your home, and keeping food stored properly and making sure you don't have standing water near your home. While it can be an inconvenience, it's something that many of us are just willing to tolerate in exchange for the many other benefits of living on the Big Island. On a positive note, did you know that there are no snakes in Hawaii? That's a huge plus, especially if you love hiking and exploring in nature. Pro number four, grow your own food. One of my favorite things about living on the Big Island is the opportunity to grow your own food and enjoy all the fresh fruit. There's nothing quite like the taste of fresh, ripe fruit straight from your own garden. And here on the Big Island, the warm and sunny climate makes it the perfect place for growing all sorts of delicious produce. Whether you're interested in planting mango trees, avocados, citrus, pineapples, or banana trees, there's something for everyone. Growing your own food and fruit not only ensures that you have access to fresh, healthy produce, 
but it also allows you to save money and reduce your carbon footprint. Plus, there's something truly satisfying about tending to your own garden and reaping the rewards of your hard work. Con number four, expensive shipping. If you're an online shopper, like many of us are these days, you need to know that free shipping deals that look so enticing online almost never apply to Hawaii. You'll start to get very familiar with the fine print on websites that say free shipping only applies to the continental US or shipping to Hawaii is an additional charge. And sometimes that charge is more than the price of what it is that you're actually ordering. Amazon Prime delivery is available to most areas. So that's a big plus, but it often takes much longer to get delivered. When your friends on the mainland get their orders in two days, oftentimes less than that, you can expect to get your order in about a week or longer. This can be very frustrating, especially if you can't find what you're looking for here on island and you have to rely on ordering it online. In addition to online shopping, regular mail can also be a challenge. Overnight delivery is not an option and packages take a minimum of several days, even weeks to arrive, which can be pretty frustrating, especially if you need something urgently. This is something that we have to deal with on a regular basis and it can be a challenge, particularly for people who rely on timely deliveries for their work or other commitments. Now FedEx and UPS are the fastest ways to ship, but it is also much more expensive. Pro number five, Hawaii is consistently ranked as the happiest state to live in according to the annual Gallup Share Care Wellbeing Index which measures well-being across five elements, purpose, social, financial, community, and physical. Hawaii is consistently ranked at or near the top of the index since its inception in 2008 for several reasons. The first and most obvious is Hawaii's natural beauty with its crystal clear waters, stunning beaches, and lush green landscapes is one of the main reasons people find it to be a happy and peaceful place to live. The strong sense of community combined with the aloha spirit, which is a way of life that promotes kindness, hospitality, and mutual respect. Hawaii's laid back island lifestyle is another factor that contributes to its high well being score. The pace of life is slower, and people prioritize spending time with family and friends, pursuing hobbies, and enjoying the outdoors, which means many of Hawaii's residents enjoy good physical health thanks to the favorable climate, abundant opportunities for outdoor recreation, and access to fresh, healthy food. These factors and more contribute to the high level of well-being and happiness that Hawaii residents experience. Con number five, VOG. What is VOG exactly? Well, VOG is a type of air pollution that comes from volcanic emissions, currently from the active Kilauea eruption, and it can have negative health effects on some people, particularly those with respiratory issues and asthma. When the volcano is more active, the VOG can become thick and air quality is reduced, resulting in lower visibility and haziness. That crisp horizon line that you see usually at sunset can suddenly disappear with no distinction between the ocean and the sky on a really bad foggy day. The areas of the island that are affected are determined by the direction of the winds. With typical trade wind patterns, VOG travels around the southern part of the island and then up along the Kona coast where it can become trapped by daytime onshore and nighttime offshore sea breezes. The entire state can actually be affected depending on the winds or lack of wind. VOG mainly causes eye, nose, and throat irritation, headaches, and feelings of fatigue and lethargy. Simple steps to protect yourself if you are sensitive to air pollution include staying indoors during times of heavy VOG or wearing a mask to filter the air when you're outdoors. Despite the VOG, most people love living on the Big Island and tend to find that the benefits of island life outweigh the negatives. Pro number six, the Big Island is a blue zone. Do you want to live to be 100? Well, live in a blue zone. You may be wondering, what are blue zones? Well, 
Blue zones are areas of the world where people live significantly longer and healthier lives than the rest of the world and consistently live to 100 years of age. Up until a few years ago, Loma Linda, California was the only blue zone in the US. In 2017, the Big Island became the first county in the US to receive a blue zone designation. Many of the Big Island communities are now considered a blue zone. This is largely due to the island's focus on healthy living with plenty of opportunities for physical activity like hiking and swimming and walking and surfing. But it's not just about exercise. The island's traditional diet of fresh whole foods like fish, fruits, and vegetables has also been linked to longevity and good health. Living on the big island of Hawaii means that you'll have access to all of these health promoting factors. You'll be surrounded by natural beauty, have plenty of opportunities for physical activity, and have access to fresh healthy food. Con number six, traffic. Is there any place you can go that doesn't have traffic anymore? As the island's population continues to grow, so does the number of cars on the road, particularly during peak tourist seasons. The traffic on the Big Island can vary depending on the time of day and where you're at on the island. Traffic isn't as bad as it is on the more densely populated islands like Oahu and Maui, but certain areas like Kona and Hilo do have traffic congestion, especially during peak travel times in the mornings, such as rush hour or in the evenings, and definitely during peak tourist seasons. Because there's no freeways on the island, many of the roads are two lane roads, which makes the traffic back up or bottleneck when it's going from two lanes down to one, for example. In addition, the island has only one road around the whole perimeter of the island, so if there's a car crash or an emergency road closure, such as a brush fire, for example, then you can be sitting in gridlock traffic for hours because there's no alternative options if the road's closed. So who doesn't want to be happy and live to 100, right? Well, if you want to learn more about how to do that, check out my video on the Blue Zones right here. Thanks so much for watching today. If you have any questions about living on the Big Island, just send me an email, give me a call. Aloha.